And you know, as a college student with this rough schedule, sometimes it can be hard to to realize, oh, like you will skip breakfast, you'll skip lunch, and then oh, you have a big dinner, and you think, oh, well, I skipped those meals, so I should be good. But no, you need to eat consistently: breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Start your metabolism. And in the ACC, you know, you got to work hard. You got to work hard. And thanks, I had a great support system, great coaching staff that was with me every day because it, it didn't happen overnight. And I remember having those days where I would get on the scale and nothing would change. How long did it take? That's you? How long did it take me? Um, 45 pounds in what period of time? Uh, over a summer. Over It was over the whole red shirt season. It was probably, I would say, 12 months. I'm just, give me a year. Give me a year. from what to what are you now? Uh, right now, I'm, I'm playing with my weight. Now I have the, actually the, the privilege of playing with my weight. I now I can figure out what I work with. So I go from two, I, my lowest was like 230, 38 to 245. 238 was your lowest? Yeah, 238 to like 245. What and right, was the highest you ever were? 280. So, How do you feel different as a, I mean, when you're running up and down the floor at 240 versus 280? I don't even, now, before I noticed the way I, I felt sluggish, I felt like I couldn't move anything. As what he said, I would get tired fast and I wouldn't be able to help my team. Now, I don't even realize, like he said, I played 30 minutes in the scrimmage. I didn't even realize the time was going by. All I was focused on was competing and winning and just having fun with my teammates. And that's, I feel like, is the most noticeable difference. I don't notice the time passing by. I just go out there and I compete. And I think that's big for me and my progression in the ACC. And I'm going to be able to strain myself more out there and just give that extra effort.